Hi, everybody. I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rampant Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfus. And we are playing a game on the CDI, my favorite console ever. Um, it's called Christmas Crisis, and um, yeah, so you can see that it looks Christmassy because it's almost Christmas time. This is our Christmas special. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, everyone. Yes, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah's almost over, but um. Happy Kwanzaa, Boda Day, Diwali, whatever holiday you're celebrating. I'm going to celebrate the holiday of turning up our television set. You know. Don't worry, the um, audio is going to be pretty horrible anyway because my CDI has an audio glitch. But um, yeah, this is a game. We downloaded the backup of the game. Um, you know, we wanted to hear these sweet jams, that's why I turned up the audio, but anyway, I downloaded a backup of this game because, well, time wasn't really on my side. This game, it's reasonably priced on eBay, it's real popular out in Europe, and, um, you know, oh, they're doing the, uh, mouse thing, oh, that was such a thing with the CDI, but, um, yeah, so it's Christmas time. I messed up Romance Month, and, um... Well, you were in Antarctica. I was in Antarctica, romancing yes. Romancing the penguins. I was romancing penguins in Antarctica, and you guys are probably wondering, that idiot promised us some Antarctica and Argentina vlogs, and that will happen. It could happen before the new year, but I'm not busting my muffins to do that. It'll probably happen after the new year, but I wanted to get a little Christmas special going because I didn't want to, you know, miss Romance Month and miss Christmas. I know. Yeah, so we're going to start playing Christmas Crisis again. Uh, CDI, you can download backup ROMs of your games and... Um, go ahead and play them, and I mean, I would like to have this in my actual collection, though, the honest-to-goodness version here, so we'll hit start. I know very little about this game. Yeah, I know nothing about it. Yeah, we know 1995, and there was some story there, but it went by way too quickly, and I was yammering, and, um... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, is it a platformer? It is a platformer, and... Um, come on, Santa. Do, do, do. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Santa died. Oh, no. Why is he so much smaller than his mailbox? Santa's smaller than everything here. Like, boy, that would have been a good thing to, like, have story, um, have the story mentioned there. Okay, the one-two button pauses the game. Oh, I have a limited number of snowballs. I guess I have ten snowballs, so... Yeah. Do, 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 well, do, if you do. go in the snow, do you get more? Go in the snow? Yeah, like if he's walking in the snow. He is walking in the snow. <laughs> Because, like, he could be, like, rolling balls You on. know, yeah, yeah, like, if that was your weapon against uh, whatever the hell it is we're fighting here, um... Oh my god, I was able to make that jump earlier, but I can't do it now. Yeah, so Christmas is uh, coming up while I figure out how to make this darn jump. How did I do that? Is it here? Oh, it was here, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, so Christmas, um... Yeah, we, you know, I love Christmas time in theory. I like the it's lights. It's a great time. Yeah, the lights, the celebration, the fun, the song, um, the mass. I love going to mass, hearing, going to church, hearing all of those uh, reassuring scripture readings. But I gotta say, for our family, December sucks. Like... December sucks majorly. You know, I think it's common for a lot of people to have stress in the month of December. Um, I think it's kind of like, kind of similar to a Disney trip in that you tend to put a lot on yourself. 
Like you think, okay, I want to do all these Christmas activities in my area, whatever they may be, wherever you are. And right. I wanna... that Christmas tree lighting, etc. And I want to watch all my favorite Christmas movies, and I want to, I need to buy gifts for all these people. And... Right. Yeah. And I want to eat all these foods, but I shouldn't eat all these foods. Yeah, but Squeak Doo right here is talking about, like, the logical, like, holiday stress. I'm talking things particularly for our family. If a relative uh, dies, it's almost always in December. That's true. We always have, like... Not that we have a relative die every December, but every time a relative dies, dies it tends, it to, tends, be tends to be in December. Our great grandmother, one of my first major experiences with um, death, was 1996, and thank God we had the N64 to sort of help us bridge that gap. Yeah, I remember um, the day after Christmas was the layout, and it yeah. was so sad. It was. It was horrible, and but then we went home and we played the N64 with Super Mario 64. And not that it made it better. better. It made it less awful. It, it was kind of a release. It, it, it was much needed, I think. And I beat a level, Squeak Doo, so it is your turn. Is this a bonus level? Uh, I don't know. If it is a bonus level, I'll let you do the next level, too. Is this like a... Oh, no! Oh, oh Santa! There was so much good stuff. I'll just take another turn. Yeah, the, you know, it's it's cool. We're we're pretty flexible with turns. You guys may have noticed she didn't get a turn in Ill Bleed. Well, that's a one-player game. So, I mean, we, we might give Squeak Doo. And we'll... I don't know. We're having a lot of tech problems. Thank God my capture card is still recording. It takes about 30 minutes for me to get my you capture card. You know, Santa's card. not great at jumping, but I guess that's what you... What killed me? The plane. Oh. Santa... Santa got, um... Santa got the, uh... Um... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to make those jokes. You guys make your own horrible oh, jokes. <laughs> no. Game over. Huh. <laughs> and Squeak Doo uh, handed the controller back to me, yep. so... So, what do you think, Squeak Doo? Uh, met... Oh, we get to enter our initials. What shall we enter I our mean, initials I mean, the competition as? is pretty stiff, as you can see from these other scores. Oh my gosh, yeah. Ben and Mason... PDJ and Boss, uh, they didn't even try, bro. They need to step up their game. Or maybe they just put it on and then put on something else right away afterwards. Yeah, no. Um, but... Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think the Poo. main thing about Christmas is you have to remember to be kind to yourself. Like, you know, you don't have to do all the things... And if you need to take some time just to be by yourself, like, or, you know, just relax or do whatever, you know, it's yeah. no problem. Hopefully watching us play this weird little Santa game is relaxing for you. I know, with um, all of our professionalism that you've come to... You know, I checked my uh, view numbers today, and, um, yeah, you know, like, I... <laughs> It, it was reassuring because it's like, you know, eh. like, I really, I could do anything here and it wouldn't matter because no one is watching. No, you know, all those, Di true. you know, those Disney vlogs, we only have 13 views on those. I've lost a subscriber this week, gained another. So, um, uh, uh, oh, I'm blanking on her name. Uh, DVA, I'm going to say yeah, DVA if you're watching this. Um, God bless you. But, Welcome um, to the fam. W welcome to the family. Um, the shopping bag, Kate, she, she's a fun one. She subscribed not too long ago. I doubt she's like going to be actually watching this video, you know, the, no, you know. You, well, you never know, but I mean like Christmas games on the CDI, that even uh, drives gamers away. Um, she uh, is actually from Mississauga. You remember Mississauga as the city where the Game Wave was made. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, she's from Game Waveville, and she goes to a lot of thrift stores, and she has a lot of fun with it. Um, and it's weird. I don't... I'm not a fashion guy, but I love watching the fashion YouTubers. Like, the small fashion YouTubers. Oh, my God. Yeah, see, it 
Did I just not notice that plane there? Because it looked like you just died of nothing. <laughs> you know, I, I, yeah, I don't think we noticed the plane there. Those are, those are some scary famous last words, you know, like, yeah, I didn't notice the plane there. <laughs> this game does control less garbagely than other CDI titles. Great! I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos! But that's not saying anything. <sighs> yeah, it's... This is probably one of the best games I've played on the CDI, but that's not saying... Oh, are we going down chimneys? I guess so. Are that we like? Sense. Are we like delivering toys? You want it? You want the next turn? Sure. Squeak Doo's holding the controller now. Squeak Doo up to bat to play some Christmas Crisis. Grabbing that turkey. Yeah, I mean, this is probably the best game I've played on the CDI, which, yeah, I don't know, it's, that's certainly not a compliment, as Santa gets killed by a RV car. Ah, this is some good stuff, YouTube, so, um... <laughs> We like those Hallmark Christmas movies. Yes. Yeah, we're we always do the countdown to Christmas. Oh, our and... very fave is um the Nine Lives of Christmas. Squeak Doo likes the Nine Lives of Christmas because it has cats and it has firefighter Brendan Ralph. Yes. Um, you guys may remember Brendan Ralph, um, who played uh, Superman in one of well, the also Superman Legends movies. Of Tomorrow. He's also in Legends of Tomorrow. Um... And Dylan Dog. No one talks about Dylan Dog. I mean, I couldn't talk about Dylan Dog because I don't know what that is. It's kind of like this, like, universe where paranormal creatures are normal, and he's, like, um, a detective in that universe solving a crime. And then, like, the guy who was in the American version of being human, like, the werewolf guy, he was his assistant. Yeah. And it was really, like, funny and really good. But no kinda, one ever talks kinda about Kind of like it. that movie with Ryan Reynolds, the R.I.P.D. Yes! That, uh, uh, people hate on that movie, but I, I liked it. Oh yeah, I like that. Ooh, Santa's got an evil clock. Yeah, look at that clock. That is a sinister clock there. But yeah, we love the Hallmark movies. Um, you know, um, and there's always like your favorite actors or actresses. Okay, I'll, I'll confess, maybe I watch them to like kind of Hoggle the beautiful Hallmark ladies. Okay, yeah. So sue me. Actually, don't sue me. But, um, yeah, we, um, uh, although Hallmark is, like, banging them out, like, way too quickly, I think. Like, oh, no. <laughs> she was saying, oh, no, because of the bad jump. I think Squeak Doo agrees that Hallmark is banging out the movies, like, way too quickly. I mean, when you start getting stuff like Christmas at Graceland... Yeah, I didn't sit through Christmas in Graceland, but I hear Squeak Doo is clearly not a fan. I oh, that's No Man's Evil. Oh, oh he killed Santa in the I eye. Thought it was a good thing. Why would a snowman be a good thing at Christmas? Frosty. <laughs> Frosty's uh, gone down the dark path, man. Well, what am I supposed to do? He's this is the gritty me. reboot of Frosty. You throw a snowball at the snowman and kill him. <laughs> I feel like that wouldn't be very offensive. See? You throw the snowball at the snowman and you kill him in cold blood. Well, that proves me wrong. <laughs> I mean, Santa, the snowball is all Santa's got. Oh, and I think you only have eight snowballs. You only have like ten snowballs or something. Oh, well, it'll, you'll be fine. But yeah, Hallmark. They're, um, and I'm seeing, like, editing mistakes in Hallmark. Like, you guys thought I had editing mistakes? At least I'll dissolve something. Oh, you thought Santa could make that jump. Yeah, he's not doing too great with the jumps. Yeah, well, I mean, he's a fat guy. The 
bowl full of jelly. Yeah, no. Oh, no. You know, I will say, I kind of like... Squeak Doo gave the controller back to me. Actually, we'll have you do, like, level one. And then, um, we'll, um... Uh, then you can, like, give it back to me for level three if you live that long. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, we're just chilling, you know, having some Christmas time fun, monitoring the capture card. Seems to be doing good. Oh, guys, I bought a um, modded Sega Saturn so I can play backup games on that. You know, I mentioned on my Saturn Nerdinalia um, that you can't really do that unless you have a modded console. So I bought a modded Sega Saturn. Yeah, you played the um, Burning Rangers. Burning Rangers, which that might or might not be an LP. I'm, I'm going to try to not get into the habit of promising it's videos. It's kind of like the Nine Lives of Christmas. But, it but in the take future, place at Christmas. It doesn't take There's place at Christmas. No cats. No cats. It's in the future. And they don't have a girl who buys a bucket of ice cream. Yeah. So basically, it's nothing at all, like Nine Lives of Christmas. <laughs> but it, it's good. It's uh, kind of like if uh, Sonic Adventure and Zombies Ate My Neighbors had a baby. So that's good. Um, yeah, so what do you guys do for Christmas? What are some of your Christmas or holiday traditions? Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Boda Day, Diwali, um, non-denominational holiday, solstice, um, whatever holiday you're celebrating. Um, what do you guys do? You know, one problem I have with this, just one problem. <laughs> one problem? Is that the floors are red. But, like, the trampolines are also red. Right. Well, the trampolines do kind of protrude a little bit, though. Yeah, but, like, I feel like they could be more obvious. Yeah, they could. I gotta say, though, this game looks good. A lot of the CDI games do look good. But, um, or, I mean, good for the time, at least. Um, but my usual fault with the CDI game is it's god-awful gameplay, which this... It, it ain't good, but I've seen a lot worse on the CDI. Woo, we have a video speedway. We, we might have to do video speedway on the CDI, but the thought of that kind of makes me want to throw up a little bit. Ugh. Yeah, chilling out with you guys. We might do a couple of episodes of this. I don't know. Um, we'll see where the night takes us, you know? Oh, look at you jumping up there. Now get the plane. Oh, Santa shot down the plane. There were no survivors. <laughs> and Squeak Doo instantly tossed the controller back at me. Yep. Uh, Santa's work here is done. So how do you do, Squeak Doo? Uh, okay, we got... How do we get more snowballs? I think you'll see, like, little snowballs in a pyramid. Hmm. And you run through them? I haven't really been seeing that. I think I noticed them in one of these levels. But I feel like every time he's walking in snow, he should be constantly making snowballs. I mean, that would be smart. I mean, it's not like, you know, Santa's packing an AK. <laughs> yeah, Santa's not like Laura Croft. Seriously, does anyone ever wonder, like, why does Laura Croft bring all that on, like, an archaeological thing? And you also gotta wonder, like, every time I go into a country, like, the immigration officials are always asking, what is the purpose of your trip? Like, what on earth would Laura Croft say? Um, I'm here to steer your stuff and, uh, kill your citizens, you know? <laughs> like, like, what on earth would Laura Croft... I'm here Croft... to appropriate your culture. I'm here to appropriate your culture. Or, like, Street Fighter, you know, like, um... When they, um, uh, what's your purpose? I'm here to fight people! You know, like, I'm sure the customs and Im immigration officials would be like, What are you on about? <laughs> okay, so there's a car up there. Do you think Blanca has a hard time getting to the street fighting tournaments? Oh, yeah. I mean, I just feel like TSA would profile the hell out of him. Oh, yeah, and of course, like, you know... Like, even once you're there, um, you know, like a taxi driver, you know, like, 
Because obviously, none of the fights take place at an airport. Right. Giles takes place at a military base, so... Yeah, but that's probably not where the Street uh, Fighters land. Right, exactly. So, like, yeah, Blanca, you know, like, he would have to... Uh, okay, why can't I jump over it? Because you are Santa, not Mario. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, they're both Jolly Red dudes. I don't know. Yeah, how would you like to be the Uber driver who has Blanca walk into their cab? I know, like... Yeah, you'd be afraid of, oh god, am I going to get mugged? <laughs> Just because I'm a little different. Aww. <laughs> Why do they have a chimney inside? Uh, extra chimney. Oh, okay. For the fireplaces, uh, fireplace. Do you want the next turn, Squeak Do? Or... Sure. All right, and uh, so we'll go till her uh, game over, and then we'll call this episode. We might do another I might episode. Win, you know. Wasn't this the level that destroyed you the last time? Or no? Uh, yes. Uh, was it? I don't yes, know. Yes. Yeah, I think these are the. Oh, okay. So they just randomly appear, huh? Yeah, no, this was the level that got you the last time. Ah, oh, well, let's let's watch Squeak do possibly win. You never know. Squeak, uh, Squeak do is more of a um, RPG kind of. She's a visual novel RPG yep. specialist, so um. Usually, things like that are kind of more her jam. And platformers, uh, not that she's bad at them, it's just, it's not, you know. It doesn't help that it's like at such a weird curve. Oh, come I on! I feel like that should have hit. There we go. Oh, we're warping now. Oh. I told you I'd win. You did tell me you would win. All right, everyone. So that's about... Yeah, I think that's a perfect place to um, call this episode and start the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Go ahead, follow us on the Twitter, the Instagram, and Vero. I'm at Jorn Von Beagle. And Squeak Do is at Luna Dollface27. Yeah! Yeah! And whatever holiday you're celebrating Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Boda Day, Diwali, the um, pagan solstice, um, uh, non traditional holidays, um, your own personal holiday, or if you don't even celebrate a holiday, may you find goodwill, peace, love, blessings, and if your light's in the miracle of the temple, the light of your ancestors, or the light of the cradle in Bethlehem, I hope the light shines brightly in you. And Bye! Meowy Christmas! Meowy Christmas and a yappy new year! <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.